Today we're going to install a new serpentine belt on a 2015 BMW 328i. Alright, once you remove the old serpentine belt, you're going to go ahead and grab the new one. And I made a little design in the last video of how it's going to go. So we're just going to put it back the same exact way. So this one is going to go into the main crankshaft, then into the AC, then into the alternator, and right down to the pulley. I might need both hands real quick to get that down but the tools that you're going to be needing is going to be a 16 millimeter socket the way we're going to do it is we're going to grab our socket put it on the tensioner remover bolt just like so and you're going to need both hands to drive this down just like so and put that serpentine belt back in its place once we put the serpentine back in its place We'll put all the air induction ducking back into its place, and we should be done. Sweet. Simple job. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. I thought I was going to have to remove all of that. Not that hard at all. 15, 20 minutes tops. Nice. So anyways, let's, enough talking, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and put that serpent team into its place, and some of both hands, and we'll be right back. All right, there it is. Serpentine belt is back into its place. Next thing we're gonna do is put all these uh, air induction ducking. Looks like our turbo is leaking a little bit of oil. Hmm. Anyways, so we'll start with this bottom piece. This bottom piece is gonna go right in here. And then it will clip right into this, like so. We'll place it back in its place. Just go like that. Whoops. Just like so. This one goes in right here. And you use a flathead to tighten it up. Alright, once you have that piece installed, we're going to go ahead and grab the second piece. And this is going to go latched right into that right there. That. Just like so. Goes into there. Just looks like that. And then we grab the top duck and let's go ahead and insert it here first actually let me see because this uh vacuum line is out here we can go ahead and connect this right here first all right once you have this uh vacuum line back into its place uh we could hold off on the pigtail because that one just connects into its place uh, so the next thing you want to do is line up this air ducting right in there and then secure everything back into its place. Secure that uh, quick connect, that C-clamp. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and secure that in there. All right. Now this line right here, it's going to go right in here. Just like so. Just like so. Tie down the air box. Make sure it's aligned properly because once it's aligned properly, it just snap into place. If it doesn't, all right. Now we're just gonna latch it there, latch it there. And last but not least, right there, push down, and you're set. Let's go ahead and start it up. Just remove all tools from the engine bay. Everything's nice and secured. Oh, forgot this. Plug it in. All right. That's what a uh, luxury looks like. I prefer my Honda. Mm -hmm. What's up, baby? Go and start it up. Starts up like a champ. Good. 
everything is cherry let's go ahead and Woo! you hear that turbo Because I'm a BMW bah! and I break. <laughs> I'm so expensive to fix. Sweet. That's how you change out a Super Team Belt on a 2015 328i. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. Alright, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.